Welcome to Never a Dull Moment. I'm Greg, and today is just a quick lesson. Um, by the look of the equipment here, as you see me panning over the equipment, um, you're going to see that uh, life got in the way and I had to neglect the equipment for a minute. This happens to you as it happens to me. I think it's time you take a moment to take care of the equipment that helps take care of your knives. So as you can see, the stones themselves have buildup on them. The load itself, if it stays on there, will hurt us when it's time to do what we need to do with the knife. So we need to take a moment to get these stones cleansed individually. Some are soaking stones, some are splash and goes. Um, I think you need to pre-soak the soaking stone before you clean it. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a moment to take the two bins that have a lot of buildup in it, and we're gonna rinse them out with warm water and then maybe put some warm water back in them with a little bit of dish detergent. Then let's go ahead and drop the soaking stones in there. It'll give us an opportunity to loosen up the particles. For the splash and goes, especially if you're using the Sahara, I think it takes five to 10 minutes. Honestly, it needs a little bit of time in the water. Um, put that in there as well. But one of the things that we need to do is we need to get this load off of here. Um, one, because it's gonna slow down the cutting action when we need to use it. And two, we wanna make sure there's not particles on there from another stone. If we have very big particles, like say from a, a 400 grit stone that gets on our 8,000 grit, um, it's gonna contaminate the stone. It's not gonna do what it's supposed to do. So even if you just have a utility sink and you can go to that and then get them wet and loosen it up, um, we're gonna need one of four items to actually um, to clean the stones. So the four items that I've got out for you is we have an Atoma plate. This is a 400 grit. I even have a 1200. Um, this is very aggressive, but if you were to wet the splash and go or the soaking stone, and then to use the Atoma plate on it, you're gonna take a lot of material off. Um, one, you're gonna get your stones flat if you need to do that. But I do think it's a little bit on the aggressive side for trying to clean a stone. I mean, if your stone is due for flattening, why not knock both of them out at the same time? Um, some other options you have are the Nagara, if it came with one. So my, uh, my Debato, which you can see here, definitely needs some attention. Uh, it came with a certain Nagara that I could use to help clean it. So what I would do is, is I would get this stone wet for about 10 minutes and, um, and use warm water because the heat actually it loosens up the molecules and it'll help to get this off of there. So you could use the Nagara to clean the stone. Um, so you'll notice that the other Sahara, the 1000, it came with its own. And that way you're not using something that's too coarse for the stone. So this particular um, soaking stone, I would definitely let it soak for 30 minutes. It'll help loosen the material. And then you can go right to the sink and scrub it. You have two other options. I just want to point out, you have the um, rusty racers. And if you do own them, you know that there's, I think there's three different grits. I have the medium and the fine. Um, and you could use that to loosen the material. What's nice is they're kind of rubbery and they really do not diminish very rapidly. Um, so you could rub it and get the, get everything clean. But another thing you have, I've got a couple other choices here is you have sandpaper. Okay. This is some 400 grit. If you have different sandpaper for different stones to so make sure you don't like make a fine grit stone like too rough. And then if you happen to have spent the money, um, here I have some Jinda uh, diamond lapping film. This would be a little bit more on the expensive side, um, but the, these are definitely some choice. I have some nine micron, some six micron, um, some 15 micron, some 30 micron, and even some 45 micron. So this can be used to clean your stones as well. Um, you definitely need, need to use the right tool for the job. But this was just a, a quick tip today on maintaining your equipment, um, not contaminating particles into your stones. Um, like I said, definitely go for the Atoma if you need to flatten the stones. I mean, we do need to do that every once in a while. Try to clean your stones at the end of every use. Let them set up and dry on their own. I would not, if they're stored in a box, I would not put them back in the box immediately. Um, so you need that water to evaporate and let the stone dry out and breathe. There are certain stones and they're very specific. I don't have a list, but they're that you can soak them forever and they, they live in water. Nothing wrong with that. If you have those stones, um, like I said, life gets in the way. I understand. I just wanted to bring to, with you, to you, um, these quick tips on just maintaining your equipment. So you have it for a long time. All right. So we're back and we've taken the time to, you know, clean what we love, the tools that we need. 
for our trade and our passion. So I cleaned the base, I cleaned the stones, I cleaned the, the actual sink bridges, I cleaned the base. There are non-slip mats underneath, the Atoma plate, the Nagaras, the rusty racers. I mean, everything has been cleaned. We're about to sharpen some knives, we're ready to go. It's good to clean as you go if you have the time. Um, I forgot something earlier. I forgot to mention that if you use Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, that also is very good at cleaning everything and it's like one of the least aggressive things that you can use. So I actually got most of this done with the Rust Erasers. And of course, everything that I use, there'll be links in the description. Um, this is what we love. I just wanted to share with you. I let life get the best of me. I'm sure it happens to you. Let's take care of the things that we love. If you're new to knives, then you need to know that you need to do this. And if you've been with knives, then you also know that you needed to do this. So take the time. God bless. Thanks for watching.